if you're a nervous flyer, if you don't particularly like flying. Yeah, I know, I'm, three of us are like that. You might like this story then. A Russian inventor recently unveiled his design for an airplane that he hopes will save lives. Take a look at this. The airplane has a detachable cabin. That's the cabin. It can be ejected at any time during the flight to allow passengers to land safely, because once it's detached, parachutes would automatically open up. Parachutes now, where? I don't know. It, 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 but, it's like three huge parachutes that glide they, it down. And then you float down, and, and hopefully it's sucked that, out of the front. Or is that like a myth? No, you don't. And there get, must you, be some wall there. Some, but what about the pilots? The pilots are going down with a plane well, on that Well, that's one. their job, right? That's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you go down with a ship. Bye, 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 yeah. bye. Now, I love this. Yeah, I but always what if thought... you press the button by mistake? Oh, God. Well, I'm sure there's a whole, you know, you'd it's have like, to like, yeah. put two hands in. Yeah, two hands and two keys, oh. like the president. When yeah. Like, but I love this idea. I mean, why not have it even more safe for us? I always thought that every seat should have a parachute in it. So it if is, yeah. the top blows off, you're, you're already seat belted in, so... There you go, parachute down. But this seems a yeah, little more practical. You, where's it going to land? Does it have some sort of device? It can land so in it... water or land. Yeah, but... but it could hit houses. It yeah, could hit. Yeah. I mean, yeah. this is more. Well, think... would you rather you know crash into a house or land? Glide Gently into a house. Glide? Yes. Well, yeah. I guess I'd rather gently glide, but. And that thing look heavy as hell. Leaving the plane like that, I don't. Know. That look heavy as hell. Look at that thing. It looked like a concrete brick falling to the ground. No but way. Who might be flying today? Air travel is the safest out there. Yes, correct. Right? So we have to remember. Remember that. Yeah, All right, that so is. we're moving really on. Yes. We're exactly. in the thick of the primary season, which means politics is a topic of conversation at family tables around the country. But a recent article on SheKnows.com raises the question of whether or not parents should hide their political beliefs from their children. The writer says she never knew if her parents were Democrats or Republicans. They told her it was up to her to decide what to, to believe. So they would discuss issues, but they would never give their particular point of view. What do you think of that? Yeah. I don't know. My parents would talk about politics all the time. They were Democrat, and I was raised Democrat, but then I formulated my own ideas. I grew, grew a conscience and, you know, my own values, and I sort of evolved as I got older. I don't think there's a but problem But a lot of people do it. end up mimicking you, their parents. If you project, though, I think there's a difference. I think if you project your political views and say, this is how you have to think, right. that's different than saying, like, here's what I believe. Make up your own choice. I think there's a two way to have this discussion. I don't think you should hide who I mean, you are because that helps a family evolve, you know, and people evolve. Kids are basically their parents until a certain age. I mean, yeah. I was I was basically like Ted Cruz Republican as as a kid, and look at me now, like not <laughs> not anywhere the antithesis clear of that. Yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, my was... parents were both Republicans, but open. My dad more than my mom probably open minded, but for me, I had a coming of age moment with President Kennedy because I was what I guess he was sixty. I was seven years old. I remember sitting and walking, watching the inauguration with my dad, and my dad said, "I think that's a good man." And that just influenced me. And I grew up during the war and all of that, Vietnam War. So my beliefs started becoming more and more liberal with age. But then as you get older, you start to become a little more conservative, too. So it's interesting. It, it evolves. It and I think you should be allowed to evolve with it. So. Well, as long yeah. as you can hear both sides. I think as a kid, you only hear one side. And then the older you get, you realize, oh, wow, I can, I can think for myself. Yeah. Uh, and, and anyone that's so close-minded to only watch a certain network and be influenced that way is just you're not getting the full picture. And that's just dangerous, I think. All right, so use your mind.